I mean, he's a remarkable football coach. But when I listen to that tosh, that complete and utter lack of self-awareness, the reasons why this will take so long is because your football club will operate in a certain way, which is that it will want to be able to do whatever it can to ensure that this is kicked into the long grass, that time bars and all manner of things are considered. If people get all irate. If Manchester City have this irrefutable body of evidence, then produce it, fast track it. Why worry about... I understand why they want to do it, because they want to make sure that everything that they... how they want it to be done, from who chairs the panel because they have Arsenal in their bio to onto how evidence is submitted and when it's submitted. So for Pep Guardiola to seriously sit in front of the media with a straight face, I think is a... Rem it goes a lot... I think I rank that up with his coaching. The, the ability <laughs> to be able to say that kind of preposterous, ill-informed, misrepresentative, unaware drivel about the Premier League, that they're too busy, and hopefully they won't be too busy. The bottom no, but hang on a second. Let's say Manchester City's legal team did exactly what Pep is saying. Yeah, they won't. They get in touch with the Premier League they this morning at 11 minutes past 11 o'clock and say, right, here's the deal. We want this fast-tracked. But they won't. Get on with it, Premier League. We want it fast-tracked. We want to know in a month but where the, we stand. But they won't. Now, what would the Premier League do then? I would imagine the Premier League will be more than comfortable mm. with presenting. They're the ones that have brought the charges... They're the ones that have either done the research and investigated the allegations. People talk about time bars. There is an element, if this is proven to be the case, people are not going to like this word, is an element of fraud about it. And fraud, whilst it has a six-year statute of limitations, also is enshrined in law that that statute starts when it's the earliest possible time to bring a case against the person you're alleging has contravened the particular circumstances of breach of rules or fraud in, in, in common law. So with that in mind, the Premier League aren't stupid, Man City fans, that seem to think that time bars is something that's going to exclude this particular conversation or is people reaching back and trying to find a way to smack Man City. Let's not forget, lest we do, that Man City have already been sanctioned. You know, if you do something once, there's a good possibility you might just do it twice. It's called adverse inference. So they've already been sanctioned as a result of 2011-2012. And this team that took a £60 million fine, I don't care how much money you got, they took a £60 million fine, which was reduced to 30 or £20 million because of good behaviour and they were allowed to compete in a certain way in the Champions League again back in after the 2011-2012. So they are, they are not, not guilty of things. They've done it previously. I would love... So would everybody love to see these 115 charges, and a lot of them are trumped-up charges, to be honest with you. They replicate, they, re they replicate one another. It's the same charge being alleged over a multiple of seasons. Right? So it's not 115 separate instances. It's 115 examples of a similar rule being broken on yeah, a multiple but, but of times. Yeah, but Manchester City are saying what you would say. We're, 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 we're clear of any wrongdoing here. But they, but they, there but is they, no wrongdoing here. You that, would say that if you're in that position. But then, then why would you take a £60 million fine in 2002? Oh, because it's a conspiracy theory against you. I'll take but that was a separate investigation. But it's still of the same, it's the fruit of the same poisonous tree, which is their conduct. Right? So what about this current one? Let's talk about this current one. That's what Pep but, was talking about. But, Pep's saying, get it sorted sooner than later. But again, What's wrong with that? But they, we because, all think that. Well, then, because Manchester City don't want that. If you had an irrefutable body, if I had an irrefutable body of of, of work, Linford, so his own club isn't getting the memory. Linford Christie sending. and you say no, Bolt they're, they're would be able on. to keep up with me. I'd be in there, in the in, in in there, wanting to make sure that every aspect of every piece of irrefutable evidence was buried in the in the esophagus of Richard Masters. That's what I would want to do, right? But they don't want to do that. They want to operate in a certain way, and they have said it themselves. We will tie people up in thirty years of legislation because we've got the ability to do it or 30 million pounds with a spend pattern that we will put behind this they've said it themselves they have said it themselves so for pep to sit in front of well i don't know how he, and of course he's a consequence for our little mate guardiola because if they are found guilty he's off isn't he no he mm. said he'll stay no 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 no. that's not what he said he's if he's saying it now he's changed his tune what's the he's... consequence for the premier league if the premier league lose this case 
Well, it won't be a lose win, will it? But it's, I not think about, it's not about losing something. It's about bringing charges because they it think. It would look hard, wouldn't it? No, I hope. I, do you know what? They'll, I really be, a, they'll be in the middle. I hope they'll end up getting a fight. If Manchester City find in the longer term there is no case to answer, how are the Premier League going to look That's there? That's not going to happen. Well, they've brought charges and these charges. Have you know, Danny? Hang on. How many Thanks times for that. How many times are people brought to court to answer charges and then exonerated? This is the process that you have to follow. If yeah, you but Pep's quite right at the moment. As we sit here talking about it, they're innocent. Yes, but they've got they're innocent of, until they're proven guilty, and you can't prove them guilty because they won't follow the process of trying to get to a court case or or, or a summation quickly. Whilst their manager's making ridiculous, preposterous observations that he wish they Why could are they do ridiculous that. Ridiculous, they're innocent, and he's saying, "Well, they're contradictory we're, to the we're they're innocent. Con they're contradic get on with it. contradictory. Actions and words, the actions, the words of a manager in a press conference who doesn't know what he's talking about and will have a consequence as a result of it because he said." two years ago when he was put right behind the eight ball in a press conference answering questions that were unfair because he couldn't answer anyway because he's not adept at these sort of questions about financial landscapes. That's not his gig. That's not his job, right? He turned around and said, if I, if I have been lied to, I will leave. He said it. So if they're proven guilty, that will mean that he's been lied to and that will mean he has to leave. So would, you would have thought that the Premier League that can't wait to undo Man City, this big conspiracy theory of all these cartel that are going to get together and do Man City down, would be running for the, for the finishing line. I don't think it will damage the Premier League. I hope Man City are found innocent or guilty, but neither in the middle. I hope it's one or the other. I hope it's completely and utterly binary. Well, there is no... Well, this isn't Scottish law where it's not proven. There is no what, in the what, middle. But, but Jim, It's innocent or guilty. Jim, Jim the, there was in the, in the middle because when they went in front of the Court of Arbitration of Sport, they used technicalities that overcome the overriding arguments. They still came away with a 10 million... Listen to the sentiment of every single, of every single court that judges them. Man City will not cooperate. It's the constant theme. Man City. So how does that chime with Pep Guardiola's absurd assertion, assertion that he wants it to be done quickly? It is an absolutely unequivocal, cast iron, repetitive allegation from whoever Man City stand in front of. They will not cooperate. Danny, you were saying contradictory to what? I can't remember now. You can't remember now. No. Um, so you, contradictory you, to, the, to what, their actions. Oh yes, sorry. Contradictory to the um, the legal team's actions of the club because they're trying to drag it out for obvious reasons well, well, and just put it are. into the long grass. And Pep's gone off on a little bit of his eye. I just lost where he's at. It's the muttering. He'll be getting reeled in to, today yeah. to just say, "Look, come on, be careful." It's the, muttering, because... it's the mutterings of a football person not understanding that the commercial world doesn't run to the beat of a drum of a football manager just because people stick a microphone in front of his face every day and make him think he's the cure for everything. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.